Christ was definitely not a good one. I didn't grow up in a Christian home like some of my friends around me had grown up in. I actually grew up in a abusive home relationship. Um, I would constantly see my dad drink all the time. And because of his drinking, he was also abusive towards myself and my mother and my brothers that were around me. And this created deep emotional scars within my life. And I, when I would think of a father, I never imagined a father as someone who was loving or caring. I imagined an abusive, angry, alcoholic man, basically. And so before my, I got saved, I was starting to get involved with music as kind of a way out of this abuse and everything. But I had the wrong motives and I wanted to become like the big rock stars you see on TV, you know, where they're partying all the time, they have all the girls, all the drinks, whatever, that they had everything in life. And when I came to the conclusion that this wasn't going to be fulfilling, it just led me down into a deeper hole. And on top of that, I also had accidentally come across pornography as well, which led into a deep addiction to pornography, which dug an even uh, deeper hole in my life. And I had no light in my life whatsoever. My life was totally filled with darkness. There was no hope for me. I just thought that this was life and this is how I was going to deal with it, no matter what I could do. But around eighth grade, I had a friend of mine, and his name was Ted. He wasn't, he wasn't even a Christian himself, but he went to church for whatever reasons. But he brought me to church one time. And I'd been to churches before, but when I came to this church, there was something different about these Christians that I'd met. I'd never seen any Christians like this, and I was so drawn and I was so attracted to these Christians. This led me to come back more and more and more. I just started to become hungry for it even, and I didn't understand. But about my second or third week there, I'll never forget this message. I remember hearing the youth pastor talk about salvation, about what it truly means to be saved by Christ and to live for Him. And I just felt this intense cutting of my heart is the best way I could describe it, knowing that this is what I was looking for in life. And when I heard him give the call that if you have never accepted Christ, please come up to the front. And I did. And I remember as I walked up front and as I said the sinner's prayer to give my life to Christ, I remember just having an intense peace that I've never felt before. An intense peace one by one. It was everything was just starting to fall away. And then the following Sunday, I went to church, and while worship was going on, I went up to the altar when there wasn't even an altar call, and I began to cry uncontrollably like I'd never cried in my life before. And I was just feeling this love just pour deep into my heart. And it's like I was hearing God saying, I'm sorry for what happened to you when you were a kid. I'm sorry that your dad was abusive to you, but I'm your father, and I'm never like that. I'm going to love you for all of your life. I'm going to take care of you. You call on my name and I will give you whatever you ask and it will be done for you. And I knew after that, after that Sunday, I walked out of that church knowing for a fact that Christ was my savior. He was my redeemer. He was everything that he said he was. And I, and I vowed to God that day that I was going to live for him for the rest of my life. But I did have a problem and that was with the pornography. And then this eventually led to me coming up to me knowing that I needed deliverance. I was being tormented by demons in my dreams all the time. I was hearing demonic voices all the time telling me to do uh, satanic acts. I was having all kinds of bad things going on that definitely were not of myself. And I remember I would try to fast because I heard people saying that if you're experiencing attacks like this from the devil, you should fast. I began to fast. I began to pray. And it seemed like no matter how much that I was doing, it was just not cutting it. But then when I started to hear ministers talking about if you're still doing all of this and it seems like there's not a end to it, then maybe you need deliverance. And so I began to pray. And then I came to the conclusion when I needed deliverance. And I'll never forget this night. It was October 1st of 2016. Um, Hungry Generation, the ministry, came to my church for our 11th church anniversary. And I remember as Vlad, as we were up at the front and he was praying for people, the second that he mentioned addiction, I felt something take over my body and send me to the ground. And it wasn't me screaming. I was screaming the loudest I'd probably ever screamed in my life, but it wasn't me. It's like in a sense I could feel everything that was going on, but yet it wasn't me. I was completely out of control of myself. And I remember, and I remember at times I would even hear people trying to pray over me, trying to cast this devil out, trying to cast this evil that was in my life for so long out. And then as I was brought back, 
um, to my normal self and I got asked questions about you know why all this is going on and then Vod proceeded to cast this devil out of me I remember of course this demon it took took back over again and then I would feel when I felt Vlad touch my stomach and say out in the name of Jesus Christ it's like there was a fire like a speary fire is the best way to describe it, just stabbing me in my stomach and it and it was almost physically painful but it was just so hot it was just so it's out of comprehension I can't even describe it but when this was going on and I was just and I was just screaming well this demon was screaming it, and it was just all coming back out of me and as everything else to, to calm down and I was brought back I remember I just hugged Vlad and it was probably one of the biggest hugs I ever gave any anybody and I knew that instant that I was free and after that it's like a huge weight had been lifted out of my spirit and it's like all of this evil all of this you know demons that were trying to control my life trying to take over me trying to destroy me was completely gone and I was totally set free from that point on and even today I can still declare that I am free for if the Son has set you free you are free indeed my name is Malik Gore, and this is my testimony.